I think no discussion on digital products is complete without bringing in uh, something product managers and and even these days designers are getting obsessed with is about metrics, right? So um, you know the moment you start metrics, a uh, lots of acronyms, three letter and four letter acronyms get thrown in both, uh, you know CAC, LTV, NPS, ARR, uh, you know daily active users. You know I don't want to go the whole thing, but is there a is there an approach? Is there a way that you believe uh, that product folks can start thinking and say, you know, of all these metrics that exist here, for my business, for my product, uh, what is the one that I should focus on? Now, there is no single answer to it, but I'm just asking, is there an you know, approach or a framework to do that? Yeah. So there are, again, you're absolutely right, there are lots of uh, metrics, and yeah. um, I'll tell you what I follow and what I find the most useful. Um, it's called, and you can Google it, it's called the North Star Framework. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I find that it in some, some uh, critics call it oversimplifying, but mm. I find it, it's very unifying. It mm. helps align the entire product group or the entire business unit in one direction. You mm. have to have a key North Star metric. Mm. Then you can break it down. So your customer acquisition team will align to the North Star metric. And you know, your initial user experience product managers and designers will make sure that they're aligning and then they may have their own sub metrics. Mm. Uh, same, you know, when your, your payment team or whatever is your core functionality, all of those teams will align, but mm. they're all aligned in, you know, in, in smaller granular levels to the North Star metric. Mm. Uh, for example, uh, at Book My Show, again, I'll give you an example of Book My Show. Our North Star metric is four transactions in a year. Okay. We know that if I can get you to book four times in a year, mm -hmm. your uh, stickiness to my product goes through the roof. Mm. So instead and, of- And how did you come to that metric? Because you know, similar products, similar services could have taken a different thing, right? Which is a LTV approach, lifetime value. But in your organization, uh, you know, who makes that uh, decision to say, this is our North Star metric? So it's a chicken and egg problem, right? When you're an, uh, we are a mature product, so we have a lot of historical data to be able to come up with these kind of predictions. Yeah. When you're at a, depends upon the life cycle that you're in. If you're yeah. an early stage product, you know, maybe acquisition and rate of acquisition is what you're looking for, if yeah. that's yeah. what's going to help you. So yeah. North Star metric has to be a blend of what your business goals are as well as what your product goals are, right? What is the problem that you're solving from a consumer perspective and how are you planning to monetize it? Mm -hmm. So both of them can get blended into that North Star metric. Mm -hmm. uh, and it'll, again, it'll adapt as you go through the life cycle uh, mm -hmm. of your product and as you get people, as your uh, business model matures, uh, as your product features mature, you may mm -hmm. choose to adapt your North Star metric from one uh, time to the other. Mm -hmm. At any given time, the value of a North Star metric is, A, it's easy to understand. It's mm. easy to articulate. Mm. It's easy to rally your teams. So mm. for your quarterly plans, for your yearly plans, mm. it's easy to get designers, product managers, engineers, everyone focusing on one thing. Mm. And then breaking it down into sub things. So whether it's, uh, you know, the conversion rate or the engagement time on site or whatever is the metric that you're looking at under the little part that the product account manager individually is owning, as long as it's lining up to that North Star metric, they're all aligned towards so the direction. You're saying there are secondary metrics now that will support your North Star metrics. So we always ask product managers to, uh, to prove how your secondary or tertiary metric is mm. actually aligning towards the North Star. Mm. Mm. That's you know a simple answer.